welcome back. Hey guys, uh, been a while since I was down here. I uh, did a video a few weeks ago, a month ago. I don't know when it was, when I uh, spotted this one dead tree. Um, sprayed it down with some 002. Uh, I am now going to just refer to this as, um, this is Project Lazarus. Project Lazarus. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal. Uh, look at it now. That's not it. Uh, this is this is it. It looks a little more like it, right? Okay, so this thing, um, super dry. Uh, it it had it just came out of winter, like not doing well. Um, and so I sprayed the tree down with some zero zero two, low rate. Um, and, you know, I think it ended up getting like three or four ounces of product. Uh, came back and took some pictures of it a couple of weeks ago. Put a little more zero zero two down around uh, the tree well, just to give it a little bit of. Um, just some nutrition. I didn't have any 402 on hand, um, didn't have any RGS. I just had a little bottle in the back of my truck, so I wanted to see how it was going. Now, I'll have to pull some of the video from before of what it looked like, but I just I need to show you what's going on here because this is our this is going to be our Lazarus tree. Uh, we are bringing it back. So here's what's happening. Um, the growth is kicking off now some of the brown uh the dead stuff that was on there so it's it's starting to kick this off so these are falling and the new growth is coming in behind it okay so we are getting establishment down the branches it's not great okay at all um but what i'm seeing here and what's most encouraging again i pointed it out before is what's happening on the interior of the tree um, up the trunk and how it's starting to kind of fill itself back in. So I know that it's getting, it's getting energy and, and it's getting nutrition um, and it's starting here at the trunk and kind of working its way out rather than setting the tips first and moving. But um, I'm still pretty confident I'm gonna save this thing. Um, we've brought some pretty impressive uh, ones back to life, but this is some good supple growth that's happening here and you can see kind of how much is has come along. Um, you know, I I like to take the stance of if there's life left in the plant or, or in the tree, there's a way to push it out. Now, it may require this thing's going to need some trimming and such. But, I mean, look, this is still alive. It's still trying. Okay? It's not it's not gone yet, but it is, it's in bad shape. Now, the rest of the trees on this property uh, have been on the tree shrub program and in fact that one was so again it just it just got sick it had a harsh winter and and something knocked it back uh the rest of these um uh, a lot of the austrians and and what we have here are doing just phenomenally well um most of the spruce trees are supple and just gorgeous with the with how much growth is put on and this is uh, on a program of like a two times a year uh, running the 402 product. So, you know, it's, it's easy to keep these trees healthy and beautiful. And you can just see how much growth has been put on this season on, you know, the trees that are in obviously good health. Nice, big tips, lots of growth. I mean, you know, look at towards the tops of the trees. There's... There's some new growth on those that are, you know, eight, eight, ten inches. So the tree shrub program is is pretty easy to to get along with, um, and you can't really overdo it. So if any of you out there are are feeding your rose bushes, uh, wonderful for that. Flower beds, great. Um, you know, diluting in a watering can, uh, running things through a sprayer, whether it's um, um, hand hand pump sprayer or uh, or hose end whichever you choose to do uh, it, either way is going to be good for it but you can you can get your trees pretty healthy and robust and growing quickly on just a couple of applications a year or you know do it a little bit more originally uh, on my first spray business in Reno, we did it every six weeks and fed, I fed trees. And honestly, by the fourth application, most people were telling us not to come back for the fifth because everything was growing so fast. So you can't really overdo it. Um, but again, Project Lazarus Tree, it is coming back. Um, I am going to sort of keep my personal attention on this one. 
it's kind of fun. You know, the, the hardest part about seeing something like this in a landscape, especially when you have so much, you know, so many beautiful, healthy trees around, is this one can be an eyesore to the owner. So convincing the owner, like, don't get rid of this thing. Um, we want to just kind of work on it and bring it back and see how far we can get it. So I have not, no way, given up on this tree. There's too much, uh, too much good happening right now. And um, we're going to get it back. We're going to get it back. Slowly but surely, you know, that's, what, that's how we do it. Uh, feel free to post any questions or comments about doing uh, a tree program, shrubs, you know, vegetable gardens. Uh, fantastic. Oh, my gosh. If you guys aren't using uh, the 402 or 002 or even RGS on your vegetable garden, you are missing out. Uh, your veggies will taste better uh, than you can imagine. It's, it's unreal. So shoot your questions or comments. I will uh, answer them as best I can. Try not to overwhelm me. Come on, guys. One guy. Just kidding. I'll talk to you all real soon.